Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I will be talking about the visor and the problems with the fogging up on most helmets that you will experience when you're riding in a morning where the air temperature outside is a little bit cooler, you're breathing out hot air and it is fogging up. First of all, some helmets come with the pin lock from the manufacturer or you can install them uh, to the specific helmets. In this case, uh, Schubert C3 comes with that option. Unfortunately, after a certain time of using it, the pin lock itself gets more scratched up than the visor. I already replaced the pin lock with the different uh, pin lock than it came with my Schubert. So first I'll take it off the helmet and I'll show you what I mean, uh, what kind of a problems uh, I'm experiencing with the original Schubert uh, pin lock. To remove the visor on a Schubert helmet it's pretty easy. You have uh, two tabs right on the side here so you gotta lift them up and pull the visor away. So we'll do that first. And we push it all the way up and that comes out of the helmet shell. So we'll put the helmet aside. We don't need it at this point. And it might be kind of hard to see. This is the original pin lock that came with my helmet. It is quite scratched up. That's the main problem. There is a silicon seal that goes around it. And when you're riding a lot of off-road, there's a lot of dust accumulating from the top and bottom. And even though it seems like it's sitting quite tight, there is always a vibration between the actual shield and the pin lock itself, resulting in scratching. I hope the camera is gonna focus. There's a scratches that uh, form around. I managed to get quite a few years out of this original shield, but I installed aftermarket pin lock. The reason for that, I decided to go with the aftermarket because of uh, the constant movement that I was showing you here and scratching the actual shield. And uh, when you're cleaning your helmet or your shield, most often that will be much harder material than the actual plastic that the pin lock is made out of. So it gets tons of scratches uh, from cleaning, even though I am only using microfiber cloth and uh, I'm using uh, like glasses cleaner on my uh, helmet. So I try not to use any solvents or anything like that. And it still shows quite smudged. That's the original pin lock. With the aftermarket one, I had this one for two years. I got no scratches on that either. So it survived, but now the visor itself, it's got a lot of scratches, so it's time for a new visor and we will install a new pin lock. Uh, the same pin lock that I bought here, it's from Amazon. It costs fraction from the OEM. The OEM, OEM pin lock is over $100 Canadian. And what I went with the first time, is this thing here. This thing is about $40 Canadian on Amazon and it really works well. So there's um, multiple reasons for switching to this instead of uh, using the OEM. Even if that gets damaged, you can take that off and put a new one. In American, I think it's about 20 something dollars American and about 42 Canadian. So it's well worth. I did buy the OEM visor from Schubert, it's not the direct website, but uh, the Schubert retailer. It, came, it comes with a protective sleeve and nothing really to it. So I will show you how to install that new pin lock and how that will compare. Before I open the cap package, I'll show you what's included inside the package. So it's a universal that should fit most of the helmet. You might find a similar product that will be more specific to your helmet. But this here is, it has a, it even says right here, it has a superior anti-fogging performance. It's got optical clarity. It's strong adhesive and uh, universal fit, easy to apply. It's really not that hard, but uh, you gotta take your time, make sure you center it. And from there, it should be quite easy. And may always make sure you have no, uh, no debris here on your uh, visor because once you stick that on that is not coming off and 
you'll trap that dirt between the visor and the actual pin lock. So how, how the, what's, the, what's the pin lock purpose? It creates a pocket of air uh, between the actual lens and the pin lock itself. This way when you're breathing out warm air, it's not creating as much fogging when you're coming to a stop sign because usually fogging is not a problem when you're actually riding uh, at the speed usually when you come to the set, uh, to the lights or something like that uh, when you are not really moving and you are breathing out warm air and cool air outside it fogs up your whole visor so let's open this up and see what we got inside here first of all it does come in with instructions, I know because I did that before, but so you guys can see, if you want another one, you can order by scanning the QR code. And inside you got a pamphlet with the instructions. You got the actual pin lock and the cleaning cloth that's all you get in here that's all you need so first thing what i will do i will prepare the existing visor clean it up with the provided microfiber cloth i just give a quick wipe right now i will do it one more time before putting that on and i'm using the costco product same thing i have a small bottle in my tank bag uh, for cleaning it works really well uh, don't uh, tr don't use any soaps or paper. Paper is a big no-no to clean your uh, visors because paper will scratch it. And we will turn that over and remove this from the packaging as well. And as you see, you have a film here that you gotta separate it from, from the actual pin lock with the crosshairs on it. That helps you to line the pin lock correctly on your helmet. And it's got two tabs, the red one and the blue one. And then there is a adhesive stickers that you stick onto the front of the visor. First, you remove the red tape and you don't have to really worry about the surfaces here because this is just your template. And you got a little two stickers on both each corner. You gotta remove those as well. Make sure your hands are clean for this uh, procedure because you don't want to introduce too much dirt to the surfaces what, that you're working with. For this, you will need to put the OEM pin lock, uh, OEM shield on a helmet, just so you know how to line up your pin lock to the visor and then the procedure is the same with the Schubert it's quite easy you just line up this and you close it so once you have this closed you will line up usually there's some kind of a center marking on the on the visor so I just gonna tilt it towards to me so I can look at it properly and then I'll show you how that's lined up. And if you mess it up it's no problem you can always reposition that a couple times so it's it's not sitting here permanently. Try to line it up best as you can centered. So there's those two two little sticky pads on this and now that is lined up here at least as best as I think so you got nice clear uh, gap here and try to see if you have an even distance on both sides from the original pins or you can take another reference point here I'm just uh, using the actual pin lock mount so it looks pretty good so now I can take it off again And I place it down here and I can line up so once you have this upside down you have your crosshair that you can match the pin lock crosshairs with it this way you know that you have installed it 
correctly. I'm gonna clean it one more time since I touched it a few times. Clean, clean, clean. It's always the key when you're putting on anything that sticks. And you can keep that after to clean your visor. Uh, somewhere in your tank bag, in a Ziploc bag or something. I usually keep it uh, in a Ziploc bag, this way it doesn't get too much dirt. Now we will peel the blue film out of the pin lock. And here, try to face it down. When you're holding it this way, you don't get too much dirt sitting on it. Well, I, I should have kept that on longer, but whatever. I'm just gonna line up to the shapes now. Uh, first time I did it right and now, of course, when you're doing a video, it's not gonna work the way you would expect it. And you want to start in the center. Just make sure you take your time because you have only one shot at it. If not, you have to spend more money to get another one. And now you have to press it firmly around the edges of the pin lock because that's where it seals. There's a sticky uh, silicone or whatever that is. Go a couple times with your finger around it. You can use the same cloth just to not to create too much mess. They are lining up pretty good. Now you can take the red stuff off here. Now after installation, you clean the whole visor one more time on both sides of the visor before you stick it back on the helmet. You don't have to press really hard when you clean the visor, just the gentle wipes because the less pressure, there's the, the better chances of you not scratching it. Because you put more pressure and there's a little debris, you'll scratch that very fast. Make sure you're doing it in a room temperature at least, so this way the adhesive sticks nicely to the visor. Because if it's cold, definitely not gonna stick well. Like everything else, they're related to stickers. And I go one more time around the edges just to make sure that seal is nice and solid. So that's where I pressed a little bit firmer, firmer. So now it's nice and clear. So the last step is putting, fitting it back on the helmet. All helmets will be different, as I mentioned before, so they're not mounting the same way. Schubert is nice and easy if you're cleaning the visor, it's nice and quick to clean it and make sure that it's not conflicting with any seals that's why it's important to line it up line it up correctly all right now we'll do the test i'll stick the helmet on my noggin and we'll try to breathe and i'll show you i don't have any vision obstruction don't see any lines so, so that's good we installed it correctly now i'll breathe more in the helmet and you see it's not fogging up too much it's almost nothing even though i'm breathing pretty heavy in a helmet so that's the difference of having a pin lock if that wasn't here the lens would fog up very quickly. I usually wear contact lenses when I'm wearing a helmet, not glasses. So the install is complete. And you see around the corners here, there is a little bit of fog, not where the pin lock is. So they do work. Uh, also, you can use some anti-fog. Um, I, I used in the past the anti-fog uh, from uh, my scuba mask uh, that I use, and it works well. You can put it, uh, apply it inside a, a little bit, 
and uh, wash it off after. But you have to wash that off. Uh, you can't leave that on because uh, that's kind of jelly stuff. <clears throat> It, it will not damage your lens, uh, that's for sure. But once you apply it, you rinse it in a not hot, but uh, warmer, like uh, water. Even cold water does because I, uh, does work because I, I dive in a really cold water and it uh, also works for that purpose. So if you are looking for something to defog, if you don't have a pin lock on your helmet, that works really well. Um, just apply the anti-fog for scuba masks and it works very well but make sure you rinse it rinse it well so i hope you find this video helpful if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video in the last video i made a video about the camera uh, settings on my osmo action 4 for best video quality uh, for vlogging on when it's mounted on a helmet so i invite you to check that out if you're interested if you're filming your rides uh, that might become helpful to some of you guys so i'll see you guys in the next next video and hopefully i'll get to get out soon to ride uh, the weather is warming up but again there was we had another three days of snow um, no riding still like uh, this year april is horrible here in alberta calgary uh, I'm, I'm anxious, I'm itching to go riding, can't wait, and uh, coming up, we're heading out to Utah to do some more off-road riding, to visit the places that we missed uh, the other three times that we went there. Uh, that might be a last time for a while going to Utah, we're gonna have to plan something else uh, on the next uh, year when we head out.